Bill Gates loves the environment. That's why he's been plastered across virtually every mainstream media platform over the last week to tell you just how important the environment really is. His new book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, has received an endless supply of lavish praise from legacy media outlets. Gates has been anointed the world's new climate czar. Bill is here to save the planet. He cares so much about saving the planet, he's demanding you completely change your lifestyle and behavior to reduce carbon emissions to zero. We need to transform the way we do almost everything. Someone who won't be changing his lifestyle and behavior to reduce carbon emissions is, well, Bill Gates. But don't worry, it's okay when Bill does it. Bill says you need to give up your gas guzzler to fight climate change. Despite the fact that the average electric car costs upward of $50,000, a price which most people can't afford, but Bill's commitment to reducing CO2 vehicle emissions is so steadfast, he owns a collection of Porsches including a Porsche 911 Turbo. Bill is so CO2 emissions conscious, he had a Porsche 959 imported into America from Europe. He also owns a BMW 7 Series, a Mercedes S-Class, and a Mercedes 500 SL sports car. But you're bad for still using petrol. It's okay when Bill does it. Bill says you need to stop taking international holidays because airline travel just emits so much CO2. And Bill's leading by example. By continuing to fly on his Bombardier Global Express private jet that consumes 486 gallons of fuel every hour. It's okay when Bill does it. A 2019 academic study found that Gates was one of the world's top carbon contributors. Out of the 10 celebrities investigated for CO2 emissions over their private jet use, Bill Gates came in at number one. That's not surprising given that Gates owns no fewer than four private jets and a fleet of helicopters. Bill loves his private jet so much he flew in on it to attend the Paris 2015 Climate Change Summit. But those holidays need to go bye-bye for you. It's okay when Bill does it. Because you see, Bill powers his private jets with biofuel which is totally environmentally friendly. Although, actually, biofuel causes massive deforestation, which in turn releases billions of tons of CO2 emissions. But it's okay when Bill does it. Gates also recently fronted a 4.7 billion bid for Signature Aviation, a leading provider of flight support, for private jets. It's okay when Bill does it. Bill says you need to buy an expensive heat pump to warm your home because your existing system is destroying the planet. Bill's commitment to frugal living is so genuine, he lives in a 66,000 square foot mansion worth $127 million. It took 100 electricians to complete the project, which was built using half a million board feet of 500 year old Douglas fir trees. Sounds so environmental friendly. Bill's carbon spewing compound also boasts a 60 foot heated swimming pool. Every single year large quantities of sand are imported from the Caribbean to be spread along Gates' lakefront shore. Sounds so environmentally friendly. Perhaps it's time you lived in an environmentally friendly sewer pipe or an eco pod. After all we each need to do our bit to save the planet. Not Bill though. His mansion gets through enough energy use to power a small country. It's okay when Bill does it. Bill's love for the planet also has absolutely nothing to do with his $2 billion worth of investment into new climate technologies. And his entire book isn't just one giant pitch to pressure governments into subsidizing the very kind of companies into which he's invested. Gates' 2019 tax filing shows millions of dollars in direct investments in companies like Exxon, Chevron, and Japan Petroleum Exploration, and billions more in fossil fossil fuel dependent industries like airlines, heavy machinery and automobiles, but that doesn't matter. It's okay when Bill does it. Bill says you need to switch to eating 100% synthetic beef because cow farts cause global warming. I do think all rich countries should move to 100% synthetic beef. And Bill tells you this while he's literally eating a beef burger. He took us to his favorite burger joint in Seattle to explain. The meat and the burger is a big deal. It's okay when Bill does it. Cattle farming is bad for the planet. So owning farmland is also bad for the planet, right? Not if you're Bill Gates, because he's been buying it up in vast quantities. In fact, Bill's such a fan of farmland, owning a whopping 242,000 acres, 
He's now the biggest owner of farmland in America. That's a combined area of farmland bigger than the countries of Bahrain, Singapore, or Barbados. It's okay when Bill does it. Gates' farmland includes large tracts of corn and soybeans, which typically go to feed animals, often on factory farms, a particularly carbon-intensive model of agriculture. But you're bad for owning a few cows. It's okay when Bill does it. You've got to eat the 3D-printed plastic meat to save the planet because Bill told you to. Or maybe if that's not to your taste, you can just eat bugs or worms instead. A wonderful source of cheap protein. But don't worry, because Bill and his Davos mates will still be tucking into the finest organic grass-fed fillet steak. I mean, what better role model for global veganism than someone who describes himself as a voracious carnivore and lists his favourite food as hamburgers? What better person to listen to about food production than someone whose role in forcing GMO agriculture on poor African farmers increased extreme hunger by 30%? It's okay when Bill does it. Meanwhile, Bill says lockdowns should continue for years. Corporate giants have doubled their profits during the pandemic, while hundreds of thousands of smaller businesses have gone bankrupt. Lockdowns have plunged a billion people into poverty worldwide, while Gates has seen his personal wealth increase by $20 billion in the last year alone. Bill and his big business mates will continue to make obscene gains while he lobbies for economic policy that strangle the little guy into oblivion. It's okay when Bill does it. <laughs>absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star link in description and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter